back to my channel. Um, so I am so excited to tell you all about the top 10 surprising facts that I found out during my pregnancy. So if you would like to hear about all about that, then keep watching. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Um, so the first surprising thing was that you can get carpal tunnel as a result of pregnancy hence my cast on my right arm at the moment and my right is my dominant hand and it's not very nice to not have the use of your dominant hand at the moment so i had carpal tunnel quite um bad in my right hand due to the pregnancy i actually have it in both hands but at this point in time i've made a decision just to do um the right hand just because it's much worse in the right hand he said the nerve was very compressed so carpal tunnel is um like a compression of the median nerve and uh it causes your thumb your index finger and your middle finger to be constantly numb and also it hurts as well quite it's quite painful and um yeah so i had to get that fixed obviously with a baby it's not easy so uh at the moment my mother is helping me so it wouldn't have been possible to get it fixed without her but um not getting it fixed means uh you know uh permanent nerve damage and also that didn't seem like an option so uh yeah so at the moment i'm just doing the one hand uh, i do have it in both hands <laughs> um but the other hand it's just a little bit tingly at night um and um it's not hurting at all at the moment so uh i just i just made the decision that i'll just do it at a later stage but that was very, very surprising to me that you could get a uh, carpal tunnel from pregnancy. Nothing, uh, nothing ever prepared me for that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so um, moving on to the second thing. So when I was pregnant and in the beginning, I got nosebleeds. It was like the strangest thing. And I was like Googling busy googling like trying to see if it was a result of pregnancy it is actually a common symptom of pregnancy that no one actually ever mentions <laughs> um, i guess it's not a very nice one but yeah it was very very surprising to me because i haven't had nosebleeds since i was like in uh, since i was a teenager or something i damaged um one of the vessels in my nose uh in a scuba diving scuba diving um trip and it bled for several months um on and off but ever since then i haven't had a nosebleed and pregnancy brings on nosebleeds which i was very very confused about in the beginning and also unprepared for because uh, i took a trip to work the one morning and uh, my nose just started bleeding and it was um all over my face walking into work I looked like someone had punched me in the face and uh, yeah I was like trying to like hold my <laughs> mouth so yeah so put your shoes in your handbag it might you it might come in handy one day if you don't already um, I'm one of those unprepared people so uh, I didn't have tissues in my handbag um, yeah so or purse if you are not South African <laughs> um, yeah so then also the the next thing was um, bleeding does not always lead to miscarriages and I in the first trimester and I I was always under the impression that bleeding was never a good thing which technically it's not my guy and he said it's never a good thing However, it does not always lead to miscarriages. I bled on and off in my first trimester for like, there was definitely like three different um, occurrences. However, it wasn't, it, it, it didn't come with pain and it didn't come with, um, um, like it wasn't a lot. I didn't, I never had to put on a pad or anything like that. So um, like it wasn't, 
it wasn't a lot so but i never knew that you could actually that that you could actually like bleed and 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 it not lead to the loss of of the fetus so that was interesting to me um yeah and then the fourth thing was i had like a lot of pain in my back but like 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 by my kidney kind of pain and then also just just below my um rib on the right hand side so she was carrying quite high so at first i thought maybe it's just like her um like just pressing her my uterus or something on my rib and it actually ended up being that my kidney was so because obviously the baby is sitting in your uh, abdomen then she squashes a bunch of your um organs and a kidney is actually one of them and it can result in pain that defers to the front um which was really strange to me um um also like obviously there was back pain but and then i just thought that was normal but but it was actually my kidney but it, it could don't don't think that it's always your kidney because that place where the pain was was actually near your gallbladder so do check that out if you um yeah never never take my my health advice okay i just i'm just telling you about the surprising things that happened to me during pregnancy so um always uh, consult a doctor about uh, what is going on with you okay so um the fifth thing was um that we learned something we learned in our uh, prenatal classes uh so those were really good to take just by the way um prenatal classes is that babies can actually hear us basically like we can hear um so there's just like a little bit of a a noise blockage but um it's not like hearing underwater and i thought it was always like hearing underwater because obviously they're suspended in uh, the amniotic fluid and i just i just assumed that it sounded like um that it sounded exactly like we hear underwater and it's not it's actually because we have we're exposed to air obviously so when we go underwater the air gets trapped between the water and the eardrum so with them they've obviously never been exposed to air so the water goes all the way straight through to their eardrum and that uh, causes them to be able to hear basically as well as we can outside the body so um that was really interesting to to hear um they did an experiment and they showed us how well that that it could be heard and it was really a lot better than i thought it, it could have been um yeah so then the sixth thing was that uh babies get hiccups in the womb i did not know that <laughs> um that was interesting i even i was speaking to my brother the one day and he was like i didn't know that, that, that um, that's crazy <laughs> um yeah so um and it's sort of like like when they are um and and i googled it and i was like i don't know if my baby's having hiccups in the womb like what does it feel like um and then i you know when you feel it you feel it it's, it's like it's a rhythmic like you know when you you have hiccups you like it's like a rhythmic thing so you'll see like your belly like going like that um and that i just thought that was crazy because i was like what is happening is she having a seizure or like <laughs> what is happening is this crazy is my uterus like freaking out or, like is the muscle freaking out i don't know what's going on and uh, it ended up being her having hiccups in the womb crazy <laughs> 
Yeah. The seventh thing was that um, they could see the gender at like 12 weeks. I think it was my 12 or 13th week scan and they determined the gender already and that was amazing to me. I was so unprepared for it. Shame poor Rob was not there and uh, my mother came along with me because Rob works away. Um, he's a game ranger so he works two weeks away and then comes back for a whole week um, and yeah so he wasn't there and and the doctor was just like would you like to know the gender and I was like what you can find out he's like yeah well 75 percent sure um, and it actually it was very interesting so there's a bone that if it's straight it's a girl and if it's 45 degrees slanted then it's a boy and um that he determined he was right from 12 weeks it was a girl and uh so i thought that was very 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 interesting so um yeah okay so the eighth thing that was surprising to me was that morning sickness doesn't happen to everybody and if it doesn't happen to you it's most likely genetic so it was interesting because like I got like I think it was like four weeks and a couple of days or something like that when I was pregnant I got a tiny wave of nausea like for two days two or three days I think it was tiny tiny waves of it and then never again I am so lucky. I am so sorry if you were had horrible, horrible nausea. I completely understand how terrible that would be. I do not like throwing up. I will avoid it at any cost. I would rather feel nauseous than throw up. So if you had morning sickness, I'm so sorry. But I, my experience was that I had none, which uh, was not what I was expecting actually. Um, I was expecting to be very sick and uh, I thought it was very interesting that some people don't get it and and uh, some and then also I know of some of my friends that actually got um, sick but not um, not actually through uh, throwing up sick so they just felt nauseous um, which was very interesting to me as well so um yeah i didn't know that i thought you always like you got sick you threw up and that's it that <laughs> and uh i knew that it didn't always happen at uh, you know mornings um like morning sickness which i don't know who named that one but um <laughs> yeah but i just i had no idea and then um the ninth thing was that um that you actually can't do anything about stretch marks i i assumed that i was going to put on some tissue oil and it was going to prevent stretch marks and apparently it's a genetic thing actually again <laughs> thanks genetics <laughs> um yeah so apparently it's a genetic thing where you can't um you can't avoid it it's like it's it's not gonna hurt to put on the tissue oil and it's gonna be it might like I don't know make it better a little bit but apparently like if you're gonna get it you're gonna get it it's like there's literally nothing you can do about it so um which i found very surprising the last thing which uh surprised me a lot because i had heard people telling me how hard their babies kicked them was that scarlet never actually kicked me so hard that i got a fright or like or it's like ow kind of thing um so guess not all babies kick that hard um i was i was actually worried i was that was one of the things that worried okay multiple things worried me during the pregnancy <laughs> i'm a worrier in general <laughs> um yeah so um one of the random things that that worried me was that she wasn't kicking very hard and she was she had lots of movement but she just was quite soft and like you know like when they tell you that they're gonna kick you in the ribs wait until the 38th week or 36 weeks and they're jabbing you in the freaking ribs and I'm like 
where, where, where's the jab in the ribs? <laughs> um, and I would get like a foot that would slowly press on my rib a little, little, little bit. Um, and that's it. That is it. Like, I was very, very shocked at that. Um, and those are my weird and wonderful uh, pregnancy facts. <laughs> But uh, from my experience, obviously, uh, I don't know how everybody else had the experience. Please tell me in the comments below if you had any of these uh, experiences. I would love to um, chat to you about it and, and know if everybody else is like me or if I'm just the odd one out. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, please do comment below. Please do subscribe if you are interested in coming on the journey with me. I can't wait. I'm so excited for it. And uh, I will see you guys next video. Can't wait. Cheers, guys.